4,000 internally displaced persons living in Kudensa Mariban Rido, IDP's camp in Chikan, local government area of Kaduna State, has received food, non food items, and relief materials to children, women, widow, and aged parents to cushion the challenges of lack, of lack basic necessity of life facing in the camp. Plus TV correspondent Habila Darafai was there and files in this report as presented from our studio. The displaced persons from 20 communities are children, women, widows and aged parents seeking refuge following bandits' attacks on their communities. Most of the affected persons have fled their ancestral homes to the urban centers to seek refuge without means of livelihood. A 13-year-old child in the camp narrated how her mother usually put salt in water for her and her siblings to drink in order to prevent them from contracting diseases. They choose her. Many brothers that they choose them. When they tell her, when they push us to now come here, no food, no water. Before, it's mango that used to help us, but now no mango, no know how to do. Thank God that some people come here to school because of no money to go to school. It's only it, my mom used to help us very well. We are ten in our family. In our mommy's children, we are ten. But in our dad, we are more than ten. My mom now put for us salt in, in water so that we take, take then we not sleep. We do not have food to eat and I, I cannot sleep like that. The place is not fine. Some people some give us small money so that we can use and buy something that we can eat for a day. Some we don't get. Now yes that I was in private school, but since when it started though, my parents don't get money to pay then we dis they decided to remove me from the private. Speaking, the coordinator of Justice Development and Peace Characters, Reverend Father Joshua Ache, says donation of the relief materials is to show love to the IDPs and empower them. About 20 communities have uh, been displaced. About 4,000 of them you know, settling here in Maribel Rido uh, from different communities. And for quite some time they've been here. You know, some of them having to feed from hand to mouth. Uh, some of them crying day in, day out. Some of them not having even places uh, to lay their heads. So we have just come you know, to be our brother's brother and our sister's sister, to see how we're able to gift them these items we have brought uh, so that it can cushion the challenges that they face. Also, the leader of Eco Smile Support and Empowerment Initiative, Blessing Sunday, says the IDPs are in dire need of basic amenities to live a better life, as one of the beneficiaries lauds the organization's kind gesture. We want them to be self-reliant, to be able to stand on their feet. That is why this training is going to commence next week or so, so that we can see how we empower them. We train them on different skills, different vocational skills. They need medical care. They need, most, some of these children are not going to school. As they bring this thing for us, we so feel happy too. We don't have food. Three, we don't have house. Four, oh, we don't even have half. The general brothers where I get, that time I I did for village, they kill them. So I don't have the, I don't have junior brothers now. I need government to help us so that we can go back to our village. The victims who are taking refuge in IDP camps for more than two years remain hopeful of returning to their ancestral homes one day if the government finds a lasting solution to insecurity. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.